restaurant style Chinese chicken. Come on in to Jenny's Walk. Let's see how to put this marvelous Chinese style fried chicken here from Jenny's Walk. You don't have to go to the restaurant. Just come on into Jenny's Walk and I will show you how to make this divine restaurant style Chinese fried chicken. Okay, foodies, so I have here half a chicken. I give it a good wash and pat dry. So here now I have some soy sauce in my mixing bowl. I'm going to give a good one tablespoonful of soy sauce and one teaspoon of fish sauce. That's about it. I have here my Chinese seasoning in my bowl. I put it in there and I'm also going to add to this some white pepper. Give this a good mix. This is gonna give a nice little heat in there. So first what you want to do is to mix in all of this lovely together. And if you want to add some extra ginger, you could also do that. But to me, this is all fine. You give it a good mix and you sprinkle it all about your chicken, all over. Now what I went ahead and did, I loose up the skin. So I'm gonna take my fingers, that's why I'm wearing the glove, and you're gonna go all under the skin. You see that? And you're gonna leave your chicken to marinate. Overnight will be best, or at least up to two hours. Get all of this in there. Looks marvelous. Restaurant style Chinese fried chicken. Here at Jenny's Walk. I'm going to make this for you really lovely and nice. This is the number one dish you will find in a beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Irresistible. So, in here now, I want to put my chicken in. I think I need a little more soy sauce. It doesn't look so. There you go. Now, I didn't add any salt because that soy sauce and the fish sauce have a lot of sauce. So you just dredge it in and like every half an hour or so, you just come back and you move it up again. So you're going to get all these flavorings in here. I know I should have got a bigger bowl, right? But that's fine. There you go. And we're going to, we let, we, I left the tail in there. <laughs> you know, in the Chinese restaurant, you will find the tail. So there you go, that's it. Just put it up now and let it marinate. Lovely Chinese style fried chicken here from Jenny's Walk restaurant style. Okay, foodies, so now that our chicken is all seasoned and marinate, and we're gonna be making that lovely Chinese style fried chicken, here I have a pot of water. I have here six cups of water in this pot and I want it to come up to a lovely boil. I want to add some salt, so I'm gonna add half a teaspoonful of Himalayan pink salt. So I want to season my water. So in here, I have star anise, clove, cinnamon, black cardamom, all spice, which have lots of flavors in there, and ginger. I'm gonna add that in there and let this come up to a good boil for five minutes. And then we're going to add our chicken to steam. Okay, foodies, so this water has a lovely angry boil to it. And a lot of the flavors already infused, those spices already infused in there. So now I'm going to take my chicken and put its skin down. And oh, I have a piece of parsley in there. So get all these marinating because you know this is the soy sauce and the fish sauce that is in there. So lid on and that is going to remain there for a good seven minutes. So now foodies, you flip it over on the other side as I do here with the skin side up. And we're going to cook this for like 10 to 7 minutes and put the lid back on now and let's just let that start cooking. Okay foodies, so this is all done. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to leave this lid on and leave it here for like 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it in a plate like this and we're going to leave it here to sit for like hour to two hours to completely cool so let this uh, remain in here okay foodies so let's get it frying now put your oil on medium and you're going to take your oil and keep pouring it be careful for those pop and keep pouring the hot oil over 
and about of your chicken to get a beautiful golden brown just be very very careful so it have been an hour and a half since my chicken have been sitting out so it's really cold so this is how we're going to get that lovely color so let me finish up so there you go foodies i stand here for the past nine minutes and this is how my chicken is now by just taking the hot oil and keep throwing it over i acquire this beautiful color i love this and now i'm going to take this out and let it sit for 15 minutes before i start cutting the chicken to show you what jenny's walk chinese stars fried chicken is like lovely recipe here from jenny's walk bringing to you all these divine quick and easy make it simple recipe for you to follow so don't forget to like and share this lovely bit with your friends and family and you could also send me stars just click on give stars follow the instructions so jenny's walk would be able to do lots more exciting recipe for you quick and easy here at Jenny's Walk. So let's take this out now. This is all done. Beautiful color. We don't want it to get too hard. There you go. Doesn't that look marvelous? So now we leave it right here on the plate and let that rest there for a good maybe 10 minutes. So there you go, my foodies. Lovely, beautiful, golden brown color restaurant style chinese fried chicken so let's get this all cut up now for serving okay foodies let's take a look at that divine fried chicken just take a look at that that chinese style fried chicken really cooked nice delicious juicy give it a lovely marinade with those simple seasoning and let it sit for one hour get some dryness and then look at that crispy thin skin as you can see look at that divine and of course i made my lovely marinade here with some soy sauce fish sauce and some sesame oil that brings back that lovely authentic chinese style restaurant style chinese fried chicken always a hit when you visit those chinese restaurant i'm talking about the island type so let me know in the comment below how you make yours this is a little different from the simple way where you will do yours so try jenny's style try my method and let me know how you like it how you do it so now is that taste testing time and you know which part of the chicken i like this is my favorite the tail <laughs> That's why the Chinese people keep the tail. As my dad would say, Jenny, bring the wok. And you know, this was Jenny's favorite part of the chicken. So let me try. Mmm. Nice crunch there. Wow. That beautiful Chinese flavor that you get only from authentic Chinese cooking. Just the way my dad used to make it. I love it. Divine eat everything up lovely chicken here my dear foodies i hope you do enjoy this recipe as much as i do making it for you lovely meal here you could enjoy with bread fried rice charming pasta or just by itself with some hot sauce so don't forget to like and share this lovely dish with your friends and family subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook and you could send me stars my dear foodies to support jenny's work Lovely dish here. Give it a try from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.